all morning. We have been tracking that overnight snow and the major traffic trouble that followed. The roads in northern Kentucky have been slick and snowy and slow for hours. Nancy Wood is with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. This is our first bout of winter weather. It seemed like a big fail in Kentucky from my experience, Nancy. It took me an hour and a half to get to work. So what happened? It wasn't what we were expecting this morning. So we uh, were prepared to do some spot treating, uh, but we ended up not having enough trucks out for what hit our area this morning, especially there in the Florence area, a lot of black ice and our trucks are trying to uh, catch up and take care of the roads. And um, a lot of variables didn't go in our favor today. Well, well, tell me exactly what goes into deciding if you're going to send trucks out because our weather team all week has been saying up to an inch of snow and the, the pavement temperatures are, you know, in the low 30s. We've got temperatures for two days in the low 20s. What else did, did your folks who monitor need to know? Um, from everything that we were looking at, we have a pretty big system that helps us make uh, decisions with pavement temperature, air temperatures. Um, we were expecting a dusting and to have some call outs in some trouble spots, such as our bridges and overpasses, which we were ready to do that. But once it kept coming and we kind of just got behind, we ended up having about 58 of our state workers out. We did not call in our contractors because by the time we would have got them in, it would have been you know, morning and uh, the sun's out. And that's a big uh, bonus for us once the sun comes out to get the pavement temperatures up. But right now, they're like in the Florence area. They're trying to do the cleanup and getting our trucks there and getting the, the emergency services out there. So that area has been um, a mess all morning. Yeah, so, and I, I know how yeah, hard it is once are, you've got the traffic out there to get your people around it. Is there, do you, do you factor in the cost associated with getting the crews out? I mean, do you think, well, maybe we won't spend money on this now because later in the winter it might be a, a bigger problem? No, uh, I mean, we try to do it wisely. It's, you know, and, and next time we'll be even more prepared. It's just this first one, uh, the black ice, you know, the first snow for people out driving you know we always got to remember even if the road looks clear there's still the potential black ice so you know it's, it's a team effort from everybody um but we did not do our best for this particular snow and uh we'll be better prepared for the next one but we we try to keep all the variables um, and we've heard what you've been saying it just said uh, a dusting uh you know not a significant event and um some areas just got more than others, and, and it was just tough to catch up this morning. Yeah. Well, I, if I can make a recommendation, John Gum's Facebook page and weather forecasts were money. Last night at 1135, he was talking about how bad the roads were getting. So I don't know. I don't know who your folks watch or talk to, but I would say uh, Tara Blake, Brad Mousehart, John Gum, Paul Poteet would be appropriate people to watch if I can make that recommendation. And also people need to slow down because I saw a lot of people that had slid off the road today, too. I think people, like you said, they didn't they didn't expect it to be as as bad as it was. So it's some of it's on the drivers, too. Yeah, black ice is, is tough. Um, you don't see it until you're in it. And so you just got to be prepared in the winter. Um, you know, we always say, say following distance. Don't be out if you don't have to. Uh, and uh, we have snowky.ky.gov for folks to go to for a lot of great information. But, um, you know, we apologize for not doing a better job this morning and uh, we'll be better prepared for the next round. Nancy, you're always so nice to talk to you, to us and, and to, you know, be just upfront about how things are. And we really do appreciate that. And we appreciate your friendship. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next time, Bob.